Did you watch the movie Love? Uh, it's not called The Love Dare. It's called Fireproof. Did you watch the movie Fireproof? Uh, I did. It's been a while, and it's been a long time since I read and went through this book called The Love Dare. But um, I wanted to review it today because it's laying here in my in my shelf, and I picked it up and thought, oh, I ought to review that book. So here's my review. Um, I am passionately, passionately, passionately not a fan of the theology of Kirk Cameron and, um, I can't think of the other guy's name, but, uh, Todd Frill, Kirk Cameron, those guys. Um, I'm not a fan of that theology. It's a hell-based, uh, God is going to tor torture people for eternity theology, and I know I'll get some pushback on that. People will say, God doesn't send people to hell. People send themselves to hell. And and that's that's double talk. And it's not, <clears throat> it's not fair and it's not healthy. So I want to say first up front, I am not a fan, not a fan, not a fan of Kirk Cameron's, th Cameron's theology, Kirk Cameron's theology or Todd Frill's theology or uh, the street evangelist buddy of Todd Frill and Kirk Cameron. I can't think of his name at the moment. I'm not a fan of their theology. However, the Love Dare book is, it has some value. I would encourage a husband or a wife who's really struggling in their marriage to consider the Love Dare. Going through this 40-day Love Dare is all about intentionally putting your attention, focus, putting your uh, your passion, your focus, your intention on your spouse for 40 days without telling them what you're doing. Um, let me read. I didn't read this just a minute ago, but I thought I should. By the way, this is The Love Dare. It's written by Steve, uh, Stephen and Alex Kendrick with Lawrence Kimbrough. Kimbrough? Kimbrough? K-I-M-B-R-O-U-G-H. It's terrible how badly I pronounce names. But anyway, Written by them, here's what it says in the in, in the very beginning introduction. It's kind of like a warning. Here's what it says. Receive this as a warning. This 40-day journey cannot be taken lightly. It is a challenging and often difficult process, but an incredibly fulfilling one. To take this dare requires a resolute mind and a steadfast determination. It is not meant to be sampled or briefly tested, and those who quit early will forfeit the greatest benefits. If you will commit to a day at a time for 40 days, the results could change your life and your marriage. Consider it a dare from others who have done it before you. If you watch the movie, you know what it's all about. It's this love dare. Let me give you a hint to a few of the things. Uh, in this first section, actually on day two, it says, in addition to saying nothing negative to your spouse again today, do at least one unexpected gesture as an act of kindness. On day... Uh, on day three, I believe, is this day three? Yeah, day three. It says, uh, the, here's the day's, today's dare. Whatever you put your name, your time, energy, and money into will become more important to you. It's hard to care for something you're not invested in, investing in. Along with restraining from negative comments, buy your spouse something that says, I was thinking of you today. So what happens is each chapter, they give you this little lesson, and then they end with a dare. I would say this book would be worth it for you to buy if you're struggling with your marriage or you want to help somebody who is. Buy it even if you don't take the time to read every chapter. Just pick it up. Do the dare every day. Here's dare on day four. Contact your spouse sometime during the business day, the biz, during the business of the day. Have no agenda other than asking how he or she is doing and if there is something you could do for them. Okay? Simple. Uh, day five, here's your dare. Ask your spouse to tell you three things that cause him or her to be uncomfortable or irritated with you. You must do so without attacking them or justifying your behavior. This is from their, their perspective only. If you listen and you don't justify and you don't attack back, uh, you just listen, it might be shocking what you learn. It might be shocking how that mends a relationship. I've got a person in my life who... Um, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what I ask or say or input, they always have an excuse. They always have an answer. They always have a way that they would do it better. And that can be irritating and it can just destroy a relationship. So that's a good piece of advice. Love dare. You're struggling with a marriage or you know somebody that is, buy them the love dare and encourage somebody to privately, secretly go through it without even telling their spouse about it.